Hi third graders and welcome to writing lesson 10. Writers, I am so impressed with the speech ideas that you're coming up with. You are really thinking outside the box and planning some really important speeches that could really make a difference. I noticed that you were looking for problems in our school and in our world and thinking of possible solutions, asking yourself, hmm, what would help? I heard one of you suggest that everyone at school should get a free reusable water bottle so that we don't waste so much plastic with plastic water bottles. Someone else suggested that we do something about how messy and dirty the school bathrooms are. They started brainstorming a solution to get others to stop throwing paper towels on the floor. Today, you are going to look back at your list of five speech ideas and you're going to choose one of those five ideas that you wrote down. You're going to take that idea and you're going to plan a full speech that you'll write later. Today is the planning day. Our learning target today is I can plan a clear claim and reasons that support that claim. I can also give evidence that supports my reasons. Today I want to teach you that to make a change in the world, you've got to be as convincing as possible. It helps to plan before you write. You can plan by writing a clear claim, which is another word for opinion or thesis, and giving reasons that support that claim. Here's one way to think about doing this. To be convincing, your claim needs to be strong. Think of it like the trunk of a tree. Here's my claim. We need to learn how to recycle better at school. Then you need reasons that support your claim. And a reason has to be able to support, support a bunch of examples and quotes and stories and details. So our claim is our trunk, our reasons are like our branches, and then the evidence are like the leaves. See in this diagram? Okay, so when you are writing opinion pieces, you need a clear claim, reasons to support that claim, and then examples to back up those reasons. You can't skip reasons and just have examples. That would be like having a tree with no branches, just a bunch of floating leaves. So watch me try to plan out a piece of opinion writing on a change that I want to see about recycling better at school. I'm going to make sure that I have a strong claim, that I give reasons to the problem, and make you believe that the problem is important and that others should care about it too. So my claim is we need to recycle better. Now I need to think of a reason. Why is this a problem? Why do we need to change this? Here's reason one. We need to recycle better because the recycle bins at school are a huge mess. Okay, now I need to think of a second reason. Another reason we need to recycle better is because kids don't seem to know what goes in the recycle bin versus the trash can. In your writing, you'll think of a third reason and then maybe add some details, but to save time, I'm just gonna do two. Last but not least, you're gonna need to add a solution. How can we make a change? What can we do to fix this problem? What do you want others to do after they hear your speech or read your writing? Here's my solution. Some ideas to help include, or some ideas to help include having an assembly to teach kids how to recycle, and then maybe by hanging posters by the recycle bins that label what types of items can or cannot be recycled. Okay, I have a claim. I gave two reasons. You'll give three. And then I gave a solution. What can we do to help this problem? Your job today is to choose what your speech is going to be about and then fill out your planning booklet with a clear claim, three reasons, and a solution. This isn't a draft or a published piece. This is your plan, so you don't have to worry about using full sentences or adding every single detail or making it look nice and neat. You're just planning the main parts of your writing, the trunk and the branches. 
So in your learning packet, I've also included my teacher example for you to look at if you get stuck. Find this page in your learning packet and your planning booklet and you're ready to get started. Remember, if you get stuck, you can always ask me for help or Mr. Davis or Mrs. Seville. It's time to go plan your writing. I'll see you later.